Hello? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Sorry, Chunk, can you hear us both? I'm going to assume so. Uh, I'm very quiet. I just uh, turned on the stream and had a listen. Oh, really? Okay, um, let me... Yeah, um... it's not crystal clear, as always, of course. Uh, am I, you can hear me, but kind of faintly. Interesting. Hopefully that helps. I'll just put you up a bit. Uh, test, testing, testing. Uh, it's, a little bit, it's a little bit better, yeah. It's getting, getting there. I think I think I think it's probably good enough. All right, I'm gonna open up Twitch and see how it goes. So, test one two. Lane, Lane says it's still quiet, but okay. Test one two. Lane, Lane says it's still quiet, but okay. Ah, oh, interesting. On my phone, you sound great. Okay. We'll see. Uh, I'll put you up here. I, All right. I can, I can also adjust things on my end as well. So just nice. A little bit of that. That should be sweet. Alright. Um, Alright, let's do this. Uh, hello. Different, different Twitch chat. <laughs> hello and welcome back to Dukes on Twitch. Uh, back today with special guest Jacob Richards, uh, local Magic player. Jacob, hello. Hello. I'm, I'm waving, but no one can see me. I'll just pray for the best. <laughs> um, so today we're, we're back on Bug Zenith, which is a deck that we ran through a league yesterday. Uh, it's probably one of the newer archetypes to Legacy, um, especially one that's, that's obviously done well at, in the past couple of weeks, uh, winning a challenge, um, and that pilot actually taking it to a few 5-0s as well. Uh, this deck is definitely a mid-range deck that sort of utilizes the power of Green Sun Zenith to find uh, a number of interesting cards. Uh, Questing Beast at the top. We then have an Uro uh, Titan, which is, of course, one of the newest printings and a card that a lot of people in Legacy are, are wanting to try out. Uh, Leovold, which... Uh, probably hasn't really had a home since Five Color Pile, uh, but it did see play in Shardless Bug before that, so it's it's nice to see Leo back in the format. Real, real powerhouse of a card. Does does a lot of things. Does do a lot of things, um, especially in a deck that's dominated by Brainstorm. It's obviously very powerful against a multitude of decks. Uh, Course of Crufix is an interesting one, a very grindy card, uh, a pretty fair card, but in this deck it really just allows us to leverage... Um, the power at the top of our library, especially when we have something like Sylvan Library out as well. Um, also just... Storm, of course. Yeah, also a really good blocker, because with Oko making 3-3s, three having a 2-4 in, in play is pretty nice, um, especially when against a lot of decks, Plague Engineer is going to be naming Elk, um, so making those Elks 2-2s, two which is kind of nice. Oh, I, I hadn't even thought of that until you said it just then. Yeah, pretty cool. That's, that's really good with Oko. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> We do also have Icewind Kotal in the deck as a 4 of. Uh, kind of the engine, a nice card because it can replace itself, it can pitch to force, um, it can act as removal and also as a threat, which is really good. Um, we've also got three Abrupt Decay in the deck as removal. Um, some versions could probably play Assassin's Trophy, maybe in the 75, if you're wanting to deal with some of the bigger threats like Gomagengla or Jason Mind Sculptor or Mystic Forge. But I think Decay is really good right now, especially against the Delver decks, where you just want an uncounterable piece of removal. Um, it doesn't play around Veil vale of Summer, which is seeing a lot of play right now, um, and there's a lot of decks in the format that are playing it, but I think it's still just a, a really good go-to two-mana removal spell. Um, we then can find Scavenging Ooze for Graveyard Hate, and then of course our Mana Dorks in Gilded Goose, Noble Hurrock, and Dryad Arbor, which is pretty sweet. Um, for Counter Magic, we have the One Force Negation and Four Force of Will, and then in the sideboard we have Fluster Storm for some of the combo matchups. Um... Force is pretty good in this deck. It's really nice to be playing a Green Sun Zenith deck that actually has turn one or zero interaction, which is cool. Um, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, Jason Oko, of course, other powerful threats that come in the form of a Planeswalker. Uh, Sylvan Library to make sure that our draws are, are coming together nicely and we can maybe make some, some good use of it in the early game against non-aggressive decks. Um, because I think right now, other than Delva, there's a few decks where you can just take eight straight away. Um, even against decks like, uh, you know, f uh, Slow Depths, Miracles, um, Storm. There's definitely a few decks that don't care too much about your life total. If you're at, you know, 12 or 20, you're, you're probably just going to be dead either way. Um, so Sylvan Library is really nice. Also can't be interacted with Oko, which is cool. 
Um, that's just a little, little, uh, little advantage right now. The one astrolabe is pretty funny, uh, but it, it does come up as being pretty relevant um, when you want it, which is nice. So it's not a card that we have to rely on for our mana base, which is nice, um, but it does help, uh, which is really good. And then replacing itself is also really nice. And Especially when you have the Krakus out and you need to turn that white mana into actual mana. Exactly, yeah. So Krakus, kind of an oddball because we can't actually tutor for it in the deck. Um, we can find it with things like Sylvan Library or maybe Course of Crufix, but otherwise, uh, yeah, Krakus is um, kind of a, out on its own, but obviously a very powerful card, and obviously in this deck, the uh, the creator thinks it's, it's warranted, so I am all for it being a white mage at heart. Jacob's volume is too low. Jitesh thinks I'm too quiet. Interesting. And I've learned that if he, if he gives advice in any way, you should always take it. I've definitely heard that as well. Um, yeah. Yeti is good. Hopefully this helps because I have you up at max. Where do you have me up at max? In in Discord or in Twitch? In, uh, in, in OBS, sorry. Uh, in OBS Streamlabs. Because you can always maybe tweak me in, in Discord as well. It's a possibility. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. If you like right-click my name, you can drag it up and, up and down. Test Testing. Testing. Oh, interesting. What about now? How do I how do I sound? Hopefully, this is a lot better. I'm gonna put you at two hundred percent. Whoa, whoa! I don't know if I've earned two hundred percent volume. Hey, Jitesh, how is that for uh, for Jacob now? Uro in Miracle seems pretty fun. That would be a, a pretty cool. Jitesh doesn't play online, and he lives too far away to play paper. A bit better. So. Like these ones every few months. Well, I mean, no one's playing Paper Magic right now at all. So, <laughs> yeah, it's very true, <laughs> unfortunately. But um, yeah, we're all in uh, isolation. You know, we're all social distancing. Hundred play points, just dropping it like like it doesn't even matter. Wow, look, <laughs> at, that. look at that. Welcome to my life. <laughs> yeah, sadly, Jitesh was a Brisbane Stylewood, but now is up north. Uh, he's abandoned us doing it tough doing it tough without paper magic he's obviously been used to it for a few months or years yeah. it, it's been years now it's, it's been years. flown by yeah wow um i double queuing with lee so apologies oh. are we gonna play against jitesh is it a, is this a thing I, I i doubt it i doubt it too but yeah this deck has some um some really good legs it seems very uh what's the word surprising resilient <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna say resilient um having the ability to search for some of this the, the silver bullets through uh green suns. green suns is really nice and then also have the ability to forcible anything we don't like is pretty cool um we're not playing any sort of wasteland effects but we do have um the ability to ramp out in mana dorks which is nice as well so we do have the option to you know cast an ochre on turn two which i think definitely gives you an advantage against the other ochre decks there's not too many um bant maverick loam at least bug loam and sometimes infect were playing was playing um ochre but otherwise most decks cast it on turn three or four at earliest i have an idea for you mm -hmm. what if you trim the Krakus? You take out the Courser of Crucifix, one Wasteland, one Ramanath Excavator. Interesting. Go for it. Yeah, that's Don't pretty have. cool. Yeah. I, I think you probably get in more than one Wasteland. I think you could probably squeeze in a second one as well, but that that's an idea. You know, Especially maybe, with this mana base, yeah. No, you, you, maybe you have that. You give that a go. That's my free gift to you, right? All right. All right, this sounds amazing. Snap yeah, it, sounds, it sounds really nice. Um, the Brainstorms obviously make it, so I'm going to keep this. Um <laughs> Probably just leading with the Misty. Yeah, lead, lead Misty. That sounds, sounds correct to me. Then we can't be wasteland, and then we can just play the Underground Sea so we can brainstorm turn yeah. two. Um, we're definitely not doing a turn one main phase brainstorm. <laughs> so. Maybe if we want to put out for our opponent. But... Alright. Samu27. What are they known for playing? I feel like Samu I've played against before. <laughs> oh, Buddha Delta. Okay. Also playing expeditions. Uh, well, they 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 played uh, humans recently and uh, shardless bug. Okay. Interesting. But this isn't. This doesn't look like either of those two things necessarily. 
Oko. Wow. I think he just underground sea pass and then hold up brainstorm and fetch. Yeah, that sounds good to me. If that Delver doesn't flip, this Plague Engineer is looking real spicy. Yeah, it is. It, 100%. And Come then, on. of course, the um, the Oko can make it an Elk. We can name Elk with Plague Engineer. Damn it. Oh, days. Trade. Days on top. Alright. So we know they've got a Days. They didn't play a second land in their pre-combat step, so that makes me think that they don't have a, a, a second land here. Mm, possible. I mean, why, why would you need a second land as Delver here? Like, what, what, what would you use it for? Oh, Wasteland, okay. That's well, pretty rough. That's that's very rough. Alright. If only we had Ramanath Excavator. I told you how to beat this. Abrupt Decay is really nice. So I think we put back the second Oko? Yep. I also think you have to put back the Jace here. Yeah, it's a little and, bit far and, off. And, draw, and then you draw the Jace, right? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Nice. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're fine to draw it, aren't you? you do we need to fetch? Uh, oh, you probably want to fetch, yeah. Oh, Jesus, that wasteland. Oof. Um, I th yeah, I think I probably want to find something a little bit cheaper. Yeah, what land do you fetch here? Just a snow-covered island? I, I think I want the Abrupt Decay online. Okay. So, I think we might even... We can go for a forest. We could also just try to n not play around Wasteland anymore. We, we could just not play around Wasteland anymore. That is an option. Um... I think, hopefully, I can just go uh, Snow-Covered Forest, untap Snow-Covered Swamp played the decay i guess we do know about days as well so that's a little bit annoying okay uh yeah go 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 go, go for it yeah i believe i believe Mystic. okay so you can't get the snow covered swamp here and uh, this mystery first can't fetch a black source because the yeah. bite is in your hand yep um and the underground season in your graveyard mm. so be uh be careful with that yep Second day. So second days. Interesting. Jesus. I don't think we're supposed to play around like fetch for a green source and Veil of Summer in response to this. I think this is fine, just waiting up a bit. Uh, I don't I don't I'm not I'm not feeling the uh the bug delva vibe. Yeah, it definitely looks like Grixis. It's Bugdola. All right. Time to go. Okay. And so, of their three remaining cards in hand, two of them are days. Mm. Wow. Could you could you draw more Misty Rain for us? Say. <laughs> I don't think I just want to play anything into days here. I'm probably just going to hold up Misty so we can perhaps brainstorm if we really need to. But otherwise, just you know, they they have a two. They probably have a two turn clock because we have to fetch. And they probably don't have. If this is bugged, there's no reach, which is nice. There's no nothing like um. I mean, they're not going to need reach. They're just going to kill you, Dougal. You're on seven. So I wonder here if I have to brainstorm. Or if we can yes. untap. Nah, I guess we you might. Have to well. You have to brainstorm here because of the two days. Let's come on, mate. Can't waste any. We can't waste any mana. Yeah, so best case is Brainstorm here, untap, play a land for the fourth land, tap out for three, they have double days, so nothing comes down. So we kind of have to but, find... But if you, brain, if you Brainstorm here and find Force of, like force of Will, you're good mm -hmm. to go. You can force one, get Plague Engineer to resolve, use it to chump lock the Goyf, and shrink down the damage from Insect Aberration. Mm. Yeah. I think you have to Brainstorm mm -hmm. here. We'll go get Trap. I mean, if we can Brainstorm into Abrupt Decay, that's nice, because then we have the, the mana for it as oh, well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely, we definitely snap that off. Hmm. 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 Well, Jace is definitely going back here. Yeah, we can't even green suns for Uro. This is uh, this this is just game. Well played. You know, you did you did good. You tried your hardest. Um. Uh. That was a, a very critical wasteland from our opponent. 
We can at least uh, try to go for like Drydava as a blocker. I believe. It's also fetchable off of the Misty Rain first. To be fair, maybe I should have gone for Gilded Goose because then we can actually also gain three life off the food. Yeah. Um, do you try and run out a Plague Engineer here to Beta Days so that next turn is better? Yeah, I don't mind that. Probably just a hard cast to ACO. Yeah. No, just the, he went for the bounce. He doesn't care. Hmm. The Robins are real. Gonna kill your dried arbor with an abrupt decay, because that works. Looks like that's no, 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 that's, that's not a thing you can do. <laughs> How many basics is, are in this version? There are five basics. There are two snow-covered forests, two snow-covered island, and one snow-covered swamp. I guess Your opponent really did try and abrupt decay the dried arbor. That was great. <laughs> that's good. That's good that we know that they have an abrupt decay now. Um... Don't think we have an out. Goose. Well. Well, no, yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good, because Goose can chomp the, uh, you can chomp the Delva. Well, they do have Abrupt Decay, can... remember? <laughs> they, do, they do have Abrupt Decay. I forgot, I forgot about the Abrupt Decay. Yeah, it's rough, because even if we play the Plague Engineer to name uh, human, human, to make this a two power creature and then block here, we still die in the air. Yeah. Oh, well, we, we fought hard. They definitely have decay because they tapped their mana and tried to cast it on the the, the dryad arbor and then untapped their mana and were like, "Oh, whoops, can't do that." Hmm. I think you we just try to, I think we just try to hold up the food and see if they don't have decay. Okay. All right, there it is. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Rough. I don't think they were pretending to be bad. I think I think we've got the soul read on our opponent. Um, Fatal Push seems good. Mm. Uh, I think Liliana Lost Hope is good, right? Lily's interesting. I believe their creature suite would be Goyfs, Delvers, Gurmags. Maybe like Brazen Borrower. Okay. I definitely don't mind it. Maybe it's um, better than the second Plague Engineer. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Plague's nice because it can just trade with a Goy for a Gurmag. Chat's telling me that Liliana Lost Hope is a very medium, so... Yeah. Maybe not. They don't want Veil of Summer, right? Yeah. Click's interesting because it can trade with Delver, which might just be what we want as a one for one, and then also get the advantage of knowing what's in their hand. Yeah. It's not like they have tons of cards in their hand at any at the point where you're on turn three, right? Hmm. I wonder if I like uh, Tyler's Tracker over Corsa of Crucifix. Uh. Corsa can be nice though because it can just gain us a bit of life. I think I think Corsa is just better. Yeah. Flusters over forces. Is that is that where we're at? That is pretty interesting. I guess there's nothing that we really have to force. Force negation is probably okay because we can at least hard cast it as well. Yeah. So what what do you take out for click if you bring click in? Because I'm looking at. Does, does Questing Beast come out at all? Beast is bit, pretty interesting. It's pretty high CMC. Yeah. Against I, could a, also, against a Wasteland Days deck. I could also see uh, Green Suns going down because there's not really one threat we want to go for. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I, th I, I also am inclined to say that JTMS is a card that comes out here because it's just like, I think you just want to go lower. Yeah. We could also cut a Force. And just yeah. play with these four as counter magic. Yeah, that seems good. I think this is this is pretty fine. Um, uh, Jacob Richards, who is a local player, basic swamps. Um, I, I kind of want I want one, I think I want one more force. I think I want one more force. Or yeah. One. What about something like Caracas? Um. um... 
Yeah, yeah. I, I think I can see taking out the land after taking out both of our four drops as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll yeah. See I'm how good. This goes. I like. I like it. We'd love to play first. And the is a one lander. We can go and get a dried upper, but that's about it. <sighs> wow. Um. This is a mulligan. Yeah. I think this, I, I want to a... have at least my mana together. Yeah, one one non basic land. Oh, this is amazing! Nice. Yeah. Wow. wow, that's a huge improvement. Um, Keep I think you get rid of the trop. Yeah, you get rid of the trop. Yeah. Um, and now we can go uh, snow covered forest into astrolabe. Yep, that sounds that sounds perfect to me. Uh, they are on bug delver. Oh, bloody brilliant. Look at that. <laughs> Pretty nice. I have, I have, I feel good about this one. Delver's going to be fine. No, no complaints here. Oof. Um, this, I think we just play Snow Covered Island and then we have a Brapplicate yep. open and then we can play Ice Man Codal next turn around days or just have Veil of Summer. Yeah, just check, check it out. Yeah, this, this, this is all good. It's all coming up Mill House. Hey, very cool. Arkin has just raided with 119 viewers, which is very cool. Oh, oh, welcome, welcome. Hey, Arkin, a huge thank you for the raid. That is uh, very cool. No Delver Flip, I love it. Alright, brilliant. Uh, Arkin, how'd you go in your stream? Hopefully you did well. Um, for those of us joining us from Arkan stream, my name is Dukes on Twitch. Uh, I stream Legacy on Wednesday nights and Sunday mornings. Uh, I have a site called the Green Sun Zenith, which you can check out. Um, and we're currently playing uh, Bug Zenith against Bug Delta. Uh, I think you, I think you flash in the codal here because if they daze you, you get to untap and slam Plague Engineer, and that seems great. Yeah. If they, if they daze this, okay. Or you get to block. Like either way, you're. This seems good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Ogre's uh, pretty nice as well. Oh my god, look at look at this. Like, look at the way we've come out of this mulligan. Wow. Hey, Walled Greens and Basic Ways, thanks for the follow. Uh, let me know where you're from. Uh, if you play Le Legacy, what do you play in Legacy? Hey, Arkin. <laughs> A huge thank you for the Ewoks coming in. First experience when Food Chain went well, I could have gone for Edo, but Moto Lag can... Uh, rough. Food Chain is very interesting, I really like that. I saw that uh, that Phil was also playing Food Chain, so it seems like Food Chain is kind of the the buzz right now, which is cool. I think, is it like what do we play here? So like, I think I think we keep the uh, the Veil and Oko for next turn when we have four mana. I think we can just, just slam play Engineer Human. Human. Yeah, that seems okay. pretty great because I think Delver is probably the card that I'm worried about. Playing Engineer itself is really good against uh, Tamagoyf, so and go back like it blocks both of them, so yeah. Exactly. Uh, I'm just thinking if we want to use... I guess it doesn't matter which fetch we use because we have the Astrolabe for a basic, so we might as well just go for a basic swamp here off the polluted. Yeah, let's get, let's get all the basics. Chad is also saying we can just hold up Abrupt K and Veil of Summer and pass. And just, just turn off all, they, all they can of magic completely. Slam the Plague Engineer. I'm on the Plague Engineer plan. All right. If they've got it, they've got it. Like, if they 2 for one themselves with Force here or something, that's fine. I feel like if they had Daze, they would have dazed the thing. Yeah, if they had Daze, they, they most likely would have dazed the Icewing Kirtle. Yeah, to keep their Delver alive. See, look, we're fine. We're off to the races. I think because they didn't have Daze last turn, they probably don't have Daze this turn, so that's why we're trying to play in. They, 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 could, they could Abrupt Decay to Plague Engineer, but, I mean, Abrupt Decay on Plague Engineer isn't the worst thing in the world. I could have hit an Oko. Yeah, exactly. Or something like Leovold. Hey, Jerry Freeman. Thank you very much for the, the tier one sub. That is uh, very much appreciated. Uh, let me know where you're from. If you play Legacy... They, uh, they played a red card. They, they played a red card. They played Lightning Bolt. Ah, uh, interesting. Okay. We need to reassess the whole situation. Okay, this looks like four, del del uh, four color Delver then. Everything has changed. Hmm.
That's the first, yeah, first red card we've seen uh, this match, which is interesting. Yeah, yeah. Their deck could be anything now. They could be playing this deck. General Kenobi in alert. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, can you'd be happy to uh, hear that I've actually been uh, rewatching Star Wars as we've been in a uh, lockdown? It's pretty. It's pretty nice to go back and see the uh, the original Star Wars, the the best Star Wars. So they are holding up Erupt K, but I kind of just like playing Uro Oko here with Veil vale of Summer up. Yeah, when you play the Oko here, do you animate your Astrolabe because our mana's all good? Yeah, um, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. I think I'm going to fetch first as well. Yeah, Sorry, our opponent can't do anything in response to us fetching. Uh, Fark first. Yeah, for extra extra green for Veil of Summer if we're turning that Lave into... So what do we need double colors for? Really just Course of Crufix and Brazen Borrower. But if I we're... Think get, I think you get the second green. And click. We just got to get the island, so... Library's pretty nice as well. We're going to Pyroblast it, which is pretty good because we can't do can't anything else. Can't mail some of that. Yeah. Yep. They, they got us this this five color Delver deck. I believe it's five colors. Uh, no it's white. Unstoppable. Uh, we, <laughs> we, we don't know that. We don't know that. Okay, we don't know that yet. I haven't seen the whole deck list. You haven't seen the whole deck list. Um, Oko is going to be fine. Yeah, this is why we play Rock the Cave. So I guess if we draw into a land, we can play Sylvan Library, Abrupt Decay, and hold up Veil. Yeah. Force. Hmm. Do we still play Sylvan Library and Abrupt Decay? Okay. I think I'm happy to play Sylvan Library first, and then Veil if they counter it. Okay, sounds good. And then if they don't, we then can Abrupt Decay. Okay. Oh, we could have played Veil of Summer. Maybe we just wouldn't have drawn the card. Ah, uh, of course, because it means it can't be countered. That's very true. If the spell ah. is uh, black or green, then we can draw. <laughs> Classic. Classic. It does remind me of that time that Veil vale was, was used to beat your Chalice on Zero when we were playing against Storm that one time. Yeah, that's very true. Um, that makes a lot of sense. If you recall the incident... Goip's pretty good here if that's what they have. Don't wish for this. Looks like Gomag if it's, it's going to be. It's, it's Gomag. It's, it's Gomag. It's Gomag. Oof. Big oof. Okay, we'll just top deck uh, something. That's not That's not what we wanted at all. Oof. Oof. Oh well, we have like we have like four turns. We'll be fine. Took three turns. <laughs> yeah, definitely read your cards. Uh, that was a unfortunate experience. It's very early on a Sunday morning. Okay. Here, I think we just force negation and then we hold up veil. Yeah, sounds sounds good. Oh, wrong. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Nailed it. Right, right. And then I think end step we just we just cycle this veil. Feels like it's getting to that point. Because we need to find some answer to the Gomag, either an Oko or a bounce spell. Mm. Mm. Okay. 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 Blue card. Nice. Oh, Ice Fang is actually quite nice as well because we can trade with the Gomag. I, th I think it's better just get the Oko down and make this a 3-3. At least then if they have Oko themselves to make this a 3-3, we do have Force with Ice Fang back up. Yep, that sounds good. I support this play. I, I, I think both are pretty good. Mm. Like Ice Fang or Oko.
Because fundamentally, I'm happier to pitch Ice Fang to a force to protect Oko than I am to protect, like, to pitch Oko to protect mm -hmm. Ice Fang. That makes sense. This is fine. Because now we have the Ice Fang to match the Delver, and our Astrolabe can pr pretty much just go after this Gomeg. Yep. And they're, they're attacking Oko now, which is perfect. Like, that's what you want. And we have now Brainstorm to pitch the force. This is good. This is good. Elk Dolls, yep. If they reveal Force, Pyroblast, okay, so I guess we want to Ice Fang here just to draw the card, and then they, if they draw the Pyroblast, yeah, yeah, that, that, the card. that makes some sense. I mean, do you Force Pyroblast if they play it? I think because it, it means we can most likely keep the... I mean, if they go after the Oko... I guess it, it really depends. We'll see what happens here. Okay. Hmm. I think this is fine because then we but don't now, now, now well. Oko. Yeah, so you force it, right? Yeah. 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 back up it's pretty rough uh, I think they main phase power blasted to see if they could kill the Oko like to see if we had an answer to it yeah it also means they don't lose their Delver this turn yeah, so now they, they know they're good to, to get in there ugh gross but we have some some pretty good draws. I mean, like green suns would be kind of nice. Brainstorm. Happy to cast this now. Fire it off. Well, there's green suns. Um, so let's put this on top. Put the truck back and fetch. Fetch um, the truck back out. I'm just trying to think if going to ten is any different to keeping at eleven. I don't think it matters. Like the insect elaboration, it doesn't change the insect elaboration clock. Mm. I mean, if we, oh yeah, no, 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 yeah, put the put the vent back on. Yeah, that's fine. Because you're gonna shuffle with green suns. Ignore me. So what do you get? I think we go for Uro. He does have cling to dust in his graveyard. He does, but oh, it has escape. Yes. But how many cards do you have to escape as well? Exile five other? One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, fair, fair. Hmm. I guess so, if they draw into like Ponder, that's pretty bad. Like Ponder into land. Or a fetch land. Like any yep. any any card that goes to the graveyard, right? Hmm. I mean, Aura is a fresh card and three life. It seems fine. Yeah. At least it replaces itself as well, which is nice. Yeah. Decay's really nice. Yeah, that's that's great. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Could get a fang as well because it gives us the card. It kind of gains us the life because we get to hopefully just block the insect elaboration. But this is interesting. Definitely blocking I mean, here. Yeah. Oh no 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 no! Because now they have the the cling to dust. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Rough. No. Classic. Classic. <laughs> Rough. Yep. That is a pun. <sighs> hey, Goblin Lucky. Welcome. You have just seen punt number, punt number one at least. Aye, 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 aye. All right, <laughs> we can just we can just draw something really good. Golden Goose. I mean, we're gonna abrupt decay of the Delver, right? 
Um, yes. I don't think we're going to try to, like, allow them to have something like Veil of Summer. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, man. <laughs> Classic. Classic. I think just to play around uh, Veil, I mean, Oko is pretty good for them. They now get a 3 3 as well. It's fine, you can draw Oko and then you have a 3 3. That's fine. I guess Uro wouldn't have been the greatest because of the Oko, but we, we would have, like, drawn an extra card, gained three life. Hmm. Yep. That's, I think I'd rather uh, hold this for Brainstorm. Yep. I mean, this Goose can, can uh, hopefully make a, a bunch of mana and uh, a bunch of food. Yeah, I mean, the Goose is cancelling out his uh, attacks the next couple of turns, but... Yeah, getting life with the food is interesting as well, so keeping the Delver alive and keeping the Decay in hand. Definitely a green man of that one, eh? Uh. <laughs> Don't tilt, man. Don't tilt. Focus up. There Focus we up. We're good, the war we're is good. not yet we're over. Good. Oh, we can definitely sack one as well. Nice. Yeah. Alright, back we go. Green Suns is interesting. Questing Beast would, would have been pretty cool here. I guess we can get Ice Fang. At least draws us a card. Course is not horrendous either, right? Yeah, I'm just trying to think as well what, what they can get if they want to trade the food for what we grab. Oh yeah, I guess Ice Fang, Ice Fang's probably the least threatening thing to get. Leovold is also not bad. Leo's interesting, but I don't want to turn off our brainstorms. Leo on their in, on their board seems really Leo. insane. Yeah. Either way, we both draw a card. Drown in the lock. I think this one's I think this one's probably over, but I'm not seeing a line that gets you back. It does if they steal it. I don't want to put on something. I don't want to put an Oko on the board that they're probably just going to steal for the food. Yeah, because their Oko is ultimate is live, and they've got a useless food to give us. Like anything he gets becomes theirs. Man, Oko is a real interesting card. Hey. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we lose to Bolt if we don't eat a f eat the food now. Like if we just make a food, we lose to Bolt. I think we have to eat the food. Nom nom nom. Yeah, Oko, Oko ult is very, very good. But yeah, trying to find an out here is going to be tough because we don't have too much. I guess like Tyler's track is kind of nice, but we can just trade it, of course. We can try to draw a card off it with the trop. Oh, yep. I feel like we're clutching at straws. I, I agree. Unfortunately. Old proverbs say, when falling from mountain, clutching at straws is better than falling. Um... And yeah, I think uh, that cling was pretty huge, so I, uh, I yeah, apologize yeah. for that. <laughs> that's, that's okay. I, uh, I'm, f I'm trying to find it in my heart to forgive you. It's all about learning. It's all about learning and uh, adapting and, and just not making the same mistake twice. And I, I will not make that a mistake again. Veil. Ugh. So you're just dead. Um, we can make a food. And we can block. Oh, nice. Nice. The straws. It's not over until it's over. They're being clutched at. <laughs> oh. Hey, thanks, Exardian. Thank you very much. All right. Ah! 
<laughs> okay, okay, okay. Unfortunate. He, yeah. he's, he's given up. He's given up. All right. Rough. All right. Four on this league. We can still do it. The dream isn't dead. Would be nice. Would be really nice. Um, but yeah, maybe just too aggressive with my lines there. Maybe with um, Delve where I should be more reactive. It's possibly so true. Yeah. Uh, this end is interesting. The annoying part is that the dried up is in our opening with green suns. Yeah. But um, I, th I think it's okay. We still have um, a pretty good setup and we have force if we need it with Ice Fang. Um, I think it's fine. I'd keep it. Hey, Eli, congrats on your 4-1. I saw on Twitter you finished it off strong, which is really nice. It's always nice as well, losing your first and winning your next four. It's tempting to lead on the Dryad Arbor, but I think I probably just want to try to draw into Brainstorm to put this back in the deck, and then just go, like, Snow-Covered Island into Bayou, and then we can Ice Fang. This seems fine. Save like Rinsome Zenith to, like, get a tool card later, like... Scrib Ranger is a very sneaky card, I, I will agree with that, so... I, I feel for you, but at the same time, um, I am not sorry for, for Scrib Ranger ruining your, your game one. Oh, Goose is actually pretty nice. Alright, yeah, tell on Goose, tell on Goose. Yeah, this also means we can turn to Oko with a food already there. Get that beatdown going. Brilliant. Script Ranger is the people's champion. I can I can agree with that. I think Script Ranger is a very cool card. Blast Zone. Interesting, this might be um Maverick. It could also be Loam, but this could be uh, Green White Black Maverick. I'm not going to lie to you, I've looked up this person online, I know what deck they're playing. I just don't want to spoil it for you, you know, I want you to play like you normally would. Because okay. I know you don't really do that. So to be fair, I did just uh, pass there, but I could have forced the Bob, which would have been pretty interesting, because otherwise, they're down to three cards. Yeah. I um... think here I'm happy to keep the food around, so we might just go Snow Covered Island into... Library. Silver library? Yeah, sounds fine. We could also go Caracas into library and hide blue for as long as possible. Um I I think I think, the, I, I think hiding the Caracas is better. Okay. I think Caracas is way more of a surprise yep. than uh Than blue? Yeah, than blue. Yeah, okay. Then maybe we uh we keep the Caracas for now. Yeah, yeah, keep the Caracas hidden. I'd be, I'd be I'd be okay if it was you making making green over blue by mistake, but you're a green wizard. <laughs> you literally own a website with the word green in the name. That's that's very true. <laughs> I think um I think they're the the correct play is to force the duck confidant because now they're going to get up and card advantage. So Savannah, oh, interesting. Okay. Maybe it is Maverick. Okay. I haven't seen I haven't seen Bob and Maverick in a long time, which is nice to see. But the curve's pretty high, and there's not too much life gain in the deck. Decay, that's pretty good. Can't even force it. Okay. You can't force that one. Why, why did you let them have the bob? Jesus. This does look like four color loam. Yeah. So we do have Green Sun's next turn for three, which is pretty nice. We can do a few things. We can go for Uro, Oko, uh, sorry, Uro or Leovold or Corsa. Another Green Suns. Okay, um... I think Leo's pretty good, because it also holds back the Bob. I think Leovold's where I'm at, too, because it's, like, if they have any more removal, you get to draw. Yeah. Um, I don't think Uro's worth it with so few cards in Graveyard, and you're also, like, a ways away from having more in Graveyard, if that mm. makes sense. Yeah. Um... They could have Caracas for Oko... For, uh, sorry, for Leo, but... That's Either way, we're drawing a card, draw. which is nice, yeah. Yeah. Great Sons and should get Oko. Yeah, I mean, if we could get Oko with it, Jesus. What a, what a game we would be playing. Still have Force of War ready as well, which is nice. Like, good place to be. Yeah. Okay, there's Life from the Loam. Okay, so Four Call Loam, locked in. Lock that in. Wasteland. I guess right. the Wasteland's not as great because we have Leo, which is nice. Yeah, it was good, good timing for Leo Vold, I feel. 
Especially if we drew into a force of uh, negation, that'd be really nice for the loam. Here comes aforementioned loam. Mm. I don't think it's worth forcing this. They've already played no. a land for turn. Really like to get a land that isn't dried over here, I think. Yeah, and luckily we do have a few um, green Oof. sources. Oof. This mm. is bad. This is very bad. We're definitely playing the dried arbor. I don't have much choice, Chief. If it gets Wastelander, that's fine. And then we can just hold up Goose for green mana next turn. How? How are you making the food? Oh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is very bad. Classic. Uh-huh. This is feeling like it might be just one of those days, hey. That's fine. We can um we can adapt. Our opponent has a slow clock. Um, Leovold's really nice against the Wasteland strategy, so for every green source we're getting Wastelanded off, we have the chance to draw one, which is nice. Oh, but you could have, man. Glad we didn't get a row, hey. This, um, is, this is definitely that I, this is a definitely a reason why I don't like Gilded Goose in some of these decks, because you usually do need the mana straight away, turn after turn. You yeah. don't always have the luxury of make a mana, cast something, and then untap, and then just hold up two mana to create a food for the following turn. I'd, I'd much rather something like Birds of Paradise, but when you have Oko, it's really nice, of course, to have that, that food around. Okay, no wasteland this time. Oko. This is definitely forcing. I don't want to lose the uh, Leo. Yeah, that's fine. On the plus side, you're getting to keep Dryad Arbor here, because they didn't wasteland. Yeah, that's very true. I think we actually just go, that, for, so. uh, go for Noble Hierarch. Possibly. Um, I'm. Depends what we draw. If we draw a green land, I'm inclined to go for scavenging ooze. Yeah. Okay. That's that's very true. Um, Another force. Um, okay. No Noble hierarch might be the play here. Mm. Yeah. Get noble hierarch. Crack for four seems real good. Yeah. And then also hold up Krakus. I mean, hold up Krakus in so much as you can hold up Krakus against a wasteland. <laughs> <laughs> The, the slight advantage we have here is that if we really want to force something, we can return Leovold to our hand and then pitch it to force. I, I guess that is a line you can take. That is a line Jesus. we can take. <laughs> it's all about knowing those little lines. <laughs> oh, I wish we could green sun zone for Plague Engineer. That would be so nice. To be fair as well, Blast Zone here seems pretty good as well. If they Wasteland us and then Blast Zone us. We still have Leovold. We do still have Leovold. Um, and hopefully we can then also get down Questing Beast the following turn if they don't Wasteland us this turn. If they don't Wasteland, qu Questing Beast. Questing Beast. Mm. Um, it doesn't look like they're Wastelanding us. Looks like they might be going nice. to Blast. That's fine. That's not a Wasteland. We still get to keep a green source. What is this? Could be like Savine's Reclamation. Knight. Okay, Knight's... Interesting. Fine. Yeah, knight's gonna be Fine. okay. Play the knight. See, what, see if I care. I guess my play there was return the Leovold, force it, untap, cast the questing beast, swing for five. Y yeah. Okay. Abrupt Decay is also still a draw for us, right? Abrupt Decay would be really nice. Can't, can't, can't cast it, but... Oh, we can, very slowly, by making a food with... Oh, no, yeah. No, we can't cast it right now. Okay. That's not... That's fine. Like, Scoos can't block Questing Beast at mm. all. Uh, I think we just... Do you, do you Brainstorm first, or do you just slam the Questing Beast? I think we slam the Beast and then keep the Brainstorm for fours. Okay. Go forth and quest my beast. In attack mode. Oh, okay, no. We know about Baron Moor in hand. But they can't... It, uh... it has death touch. Questing beast has death touch. It doesn't matter. Just attack. Okay. <laughs> go, go, go. I never... I always... <laughs> I always forget one piece of questing beast. <laughs> if it trades with the knight, that's fine. That's yeah. acceptable. 
kind of like Scooze in front here. We don't really use our graveyard that much. Scooze can't block it. Scooze doesn't have high enough power. There's no creatures in graveyards. Well, go! Right. Beast, go! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just going to have a little sip of my coffee and... That's all right. That's okay. <laughs> Questing Beast is a very cool card, especially to play with. It has so many rules texts. <laughs> I did write an article on Questing Beast. <laughs> yeah, I even... <laughs> I went through Death Touch. Yep. Uh, oh, gosh. I didn't I didn't know about the article. Now I, now I feel fine to laugh at you. Like... Yep. Hilarious. Apologies, uh, apologies, chat. This guy has flipped, like, four lands in a row to Dark Confidant. Which is exactly why you play Bob. Yeah, I know, I know. But as, just, as infuriating as it is, it's, it's yeah, always it great to see as well. And has two drops. Like, there are things you can flip. Mm. Screw's also a pretty good uh, blocker here. With two more creatures in the bin as well. There's Reclamation, so they are playing it. Interesting. I think we definitely force the flashback if they're going for it. I mean, they've got to go for it here. Like, the value. Silver Library, Knight of the Reliquary. Yeah. Oh, okay. Don't you get two things? You get two things. You get one, and then you get another one when you cast it. Okay. Wow. I think it's it's, it's kind of weirdly worded. So, um, if the oh, spell if was cast, cast from the graveyard... Oh, it copies on resolution. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. That's weird. Luckily. As a fellow SEO professional, I only scan to make sure I got the keywords in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another Mox Diamond. That's super awkward now, because now the scavenging news can trade with uh, Leobold, where it but, couldn't before. But no Wasteland Us. Interesting. Okay. That's, That's going to be fine. We'll draw a card. Decay. Drop Decay. Damn it. Delta's not too bad. No, Delta's fine. Losing Caracas is not the end of the world here at all. Mm. If we can get that abrupt decay on the Scoos, I think we're in a really good spot. What? I was about to say, why are you attacking with that? Um, okay. What about Green Suns for another Exalted Creature attack for five with Leobold? Love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah? Yeah, fantastic. And then hopefully we can just get this Bureau down the following turn? Yeah, save, save a row for now because, you know, the, the Scoos is making that a little awkward. We can also hold up Mana for so the only downside to the only downside to green suns and anything for an exalted creature is obviously blast zone keeps getting better and better right yeah but if you if you green suns swing for five if he blocks with scoos scoos is gone if he blocks with bob that's less good for us if he takes the five and then flips something lethal to bob that's good i think i think it's okay i guess we can get our own scoos as well we could get our own Scoos, but we don't have the mana to really leverage that. No. Like, we can keep... Oh, we can keep it as a 3-3, three, three, which means the 4-4 four, four gets through. Right? Because we activate, they act they activate, we activate, they activate yeah. right now. So unless they activate twice in response to the Green Suns. But even Wait. if they do, we can then just Green Suns for Noble Hark. We don't have to get Scavenging Ooze, which is nice. Okay. So, uh, so I, I like but, Green Suns. But... but, but yeah. Go, go back. Slow down, slow down. Undo your mana, undo your mana. I think we fetch first. Because I think you want to leave the green up with Noble Hierarch because you want to fetch a basic with Polluted Delta with the Wastelands being up, right? Okay. So we fetch a Swamp here. Dryad Arbor, Swamp Island to play Green Suns. Mm -hmm. Noble Hierarch is for the Scoos activation. Okay. That's that's what I'm that's where I'm read what I'm reading here. Yeah. Interesting. No effects. Okay, Scoos it is. Yeah, definitely. So now we can attack for four. We can attack for four. There's no way... Like, if they double block, uh, we still get to kill both the creatures. Yeah, exactly. And we have the Scoos back as well. Yeah. Alright. To be fair, they can go to four and then just try to eat a creature, go to five. Yeah. They have options. We're also like nicely padded on life right at 13. Like we're, it's not the end of the world yet. So I mean, we respond by eating it. Okay, so what What if we, okay, there's no loam in the bin, okay. We, ha we have to, we have to eat the, uh, 
the same creature. Yep. Otherwise, we'll lose, we lose Leo. Oh, they let us resolve that one? Yeah, that's interesting. That's, that's so loose. You just activate again in response. Like, if you're going to activate again, what the hell? Okay. That's that's a super weird way to do it. Because now you get to have a 3-3 and gain a life as well, whereas the other way around, they just get the 3-3 and gain a life. Mm. Oh, man, I don't know what's going on, eh? <laughs> Ball pit. Ugh. They just they just can't flip non lands apparently. <laughs> I, I wish I could play Dark Component as just draw an extra land every turn. Yeah, I guess you know the deck probably has thirty zero drops, including Mox Diamond. I mean, that's still they've still hit five in a row. Like, even if it's fifty fifty because they have thirty thirty, like the odds of that are very small, dude. <laughs> There goes Blast Zone. Uh, we can't do anything in response, we'll let this resolve. They played Cabal Pit though instead of Wasteland, so we still have a green source. Mm. Like, they're not doing a very good job of keeping us off green. Oh, I guess they could Cabal Pit the Dryad Arbor, but that seems looser than Wastelanding it. We still get to draw a card off it as well, which is nice. Yeah. I feel like they have Savine's Reclamation. Chalice for one. Okay, interesting. Okay. Um, we don't really have that many one drops, right? Yeah, luckily our removal's in uh, Oko and Abrupt Decay. Abrupt Decay, yeah. They've left our green open, we've left our green open for Scavenging Ooze. Green Suns. I think we just swing with both of our creatures, the two three threes. Yeah, I don't mind that. If they block with Scoos on Leovold, we let them trade, and if they try and activate, we activate with our Scoos and still let them trade. Yeah, that and seems our gets in for four. Yeah. yeah, this seems this seems fine. Not playing Wasteland there seems really weird. Leo's done a bunch of work in this uh, matchup. It's, it's, it's game one still. So they can't they can't take out the chalices yet. Uh, we haven't we haven't sideboarded. Ooh, okay, what if they block here, and then actually Cabal Pit it? Uh, I guess that, that sucks. I guess- what, is, what does Cabal Pit say? We do get to draw a card. What does Cabal, what, what Cabal Pit- can you pop over Cabal Pit? Target creature gets neck to neck tool until end of turn. Okay. Uh, so... I think we just resolve- revol resolve blocks. Yeah. Resolve blocks. Wow, they didn't use it. Oh, okay! Interesting. Okay, well now I'm happy just to go for Uro. Uh... Uh, I think that's fine. Yeah, sorry. I was just thinking it through. Uh, yeah, that's. I think I figured that was coming after the that line. Yeah. Interest. I guess either way. Yeah. I think we just Uro. Yep. Man, so okay, real. So that was a real weird turn. Okay, so like... if we if we Uro, we lose our green source in Dry Arbor. We could go for Green Suns for like Noble Hierarch to get another green source. Yeah, that's probably better. But we have to green suns for to play around chalice. We can green suns for th for two and then get noble hierarch. What you can green suns for for one? It's chalice on one. Yeah, so if we green suns for one, it's a two cost spell because X is one and the green mana symbol is one, and that adds up to two. I'm just gonna green suns <laughs> for three. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, this oh, isolation is getting to me a little bit. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna yeah, I think it, it's a flex. <laughs> CMC is two when X equals one. There's some good math happening in the chat from Apology. You're welcome. Uh so <laughs> what I believe here is that they still have loam in the in hand. Yeah. So they can get back Cabal Pit, which isn't the worst, because we still have a, a green mana around. They can blast zone, that's another option. Yeah, we're yeah, still really nice. If we draw an Oko, Oko would be a sweet draw here. Hmm, Oko would be really nice. Oko is definitely our best draw. Uh, 
That's fine. We still have the green sauce then. Brainstorm. Okay, we're going to brainstorm with the chalice, so I think we just cast a row here. Yep, that's fine. Draw a, a basic forest. Put it into play. Decay. Interesting. Awkward. Hmm. Because we're about to lose our green. The grind is real. Oko is always the best draw. This has been a grindy game. You're and, very true. Uh, it's annoying because I feel like we're going to lose even though our opponent has played not great. Yeah, to be fair, I've made some punts as well. So, Punts on both sides. Punts on both sides. Ooh, Bog Target Us is pretty nice. I mean, look, we won't get into Ruro back anyway. Yeah. Like, we're, we're pretty far from that Does happening. Does that mean... Does that mean they, yeah, they the don't source? wasteland us? Interesting. No wasteland, no cabal pit? I'll so take it. Brainstorm is online, which is nice. Oh, green suns. Ice Fang Kotal, get a 1 1 that can start attacking, I guess. Like, yep. and draw card. Um, I mean, they have cabal pit, but like, I think just cycling into more cards is fine. Yeah. Hmm. How How is the Dryad Arbor still on the board <laughs> when they've had Wasteland and Cabal Pit for like 15 turns and it's been our only green source so much? Like, do they just not land, care? Land, like... land, land. Ooh, okay, okay. Well, now okay. we have to keep it around. Well, no, it's fine because they're going to Cabal Pit and kill the Ice Fang Total because for some Surely reason not. they don't care about the Dryad Arbor. Surely they don't. Surely they go after the Arbor here. No, nah, mate, no, nah, you, you, you're, you're wrong. I don't know if they know it's a creature. There it goes. Ah, oh, okay. damn it! God damn it! Okay. <laughs> we'll just draw a forest. We haven't drawn like any fetch lands this game. We haven't drawn our basic forest. Uh, we have. We've got chops left. God damn it! Attack for one. So the the other line was abrupt decay on chalice and then hold up brainstorm. I think the getting the one one out was better. Mm. It draw a card as well, which is functionally what Brainstorm does. It pl like it draws you one new card, right? Because yeah, you draw three point two back. I'm kidding, by the way. I think Brainstorm was probably better. We'll just we'll just draw a green source. There are so many green sources in our deck. They're not going to cabal pit us here. Interesting. Well, I can do it at instant speed. Forest, elk, the knight. Yeah. <laughs> oh. uh, classic. We still got time. The war is not yet over. This is crazy though. Can, can I see your exile zone? Just pull that off for us. What we green sources? We've had one fetch. Bayou. Okay, Bayou. One fetch and Bayou. So we have two shops, two forests, and like six fetch lands still. I'd say we have like a 33% chance to draw a land. Bones we cannot bones. lose due to opponent's mox art choice. Arkan, I'm with you there. Come on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> hey! Uh, Oko comes down. Make that thing a 3-3. Three, three. Yep. Game on. Or do we have Brock Decay it? Now get Oko down. Get Oko down. Don't, don't listen to me. Ugh. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Feeling good. Feeling good. Just going to 6 here for time constraints because I do want to be ahead of my opponent on time as well. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. It's gonna be a long match. It's been very grindy so far. This is still game one. Exploit the chess clock. Oh, Decay. God damn it. Hmm. Draw another green source, Decay his knife. Ready? Second green source, coming right up. Bang. Forest. Ah! Uh, <laughs> 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 okay, good game, good game. Uh, make them play it out, of course, because time on the clock, you know, get them let's, let's look at sideboard while we're doing this. I think Leyline's great. I think Leyline's excellent. Veil is okay. I think Veil's fine. Uh, I think Pithing Needle is also fine. I think, yeah, Pithing Needle and Fatal Push are quite nice, especially for, um... For this is still game one. That was game one. Um, okay, what's not the greatest in this matchup? I think we can definitely drop maybe two force. Yeah. And then bring in, a, bring in an extra force negation. Bring in an extra force negation. We don't have an extra line. one. Oh, you fool. All right. You I do like Fatal Push. Much. I do like Pith and Needle. And you like the Ley Lines, right? Yeah, and I like the Ley Lines. 
I think you take out Caracas again. Like, yeah, on the like... basic line that doesn't tap for colored mana against them is really bad. Mm. Um, I like questing beast. I guess maybe a plague engineer can be trimmed. Yeah, plague's not doing a whole lot. That's nice. I mean, it's good against Bob, and then it's good against like sort of nothing else, right? Probably Green Sun too. Yeah, they're not a um a, like they're not going to counter two, these, two, which is two, really nice. Two, yeah. two Green Suns. Yeah, I don't mind. Very manner intensive. Sense. Yeah. Like, um, I like screws. I like decay. Uh, do we cut the goose or do you keep the goose? Yeah, goose is interesting. Man, I'm, I fucking hate goose. Sorry, language. Sorry. Um, goose is real, real mediocre. Like, to me, I don't think it should be in the deck. Give me a fourth noble hierarch, please. Hey, Bant Lover, the one reason that I do like Dry Dubber is that we're on the play, so if we can Green Suns for it on turn one, it just turns on so many three drops on turn two, which is really nice. Also, if they're I, playing any sac effects, we can keep it around, which is nice. I, I also don't think we can trim to 19 lands. Like, I think it's just too low. Yeah. Um, I think you got to cut one of Questing Beast or Jace, right? Yeah. I think I want to keep but, my blue count a little bit higher, so I think it sadly is Beast. Yeah, it's fair. Beast is pretty nice though because with the lead lines out, knights are just two twos. Keep the beast. Keep the beast. Um, Maybe it's Uro. Take out Uro. As good as Uro, Uro can be, they just have so it's many ways. It's tough when you can't get the mana up, and we don't like you. They have a lot of graveyard hate between Scoos and Bajukabog and stuff. Yeah, and they might even bring in more graveyard hate because they saw the Uro. Like, and yeah. if if we don't have Uro, we have no graveyard at all. So yeah. Yeah, this is cool. I uh, would love to play first. And... Brilliant. Yeah, this hand Brilliant is nice. Hand. Even though we don't have the um, the ley lines, I think it's fine. Especially because we have the Brainstorm to throw any away. But we can just go oh, Snowcovered Forest. Nice. We can also cast the, the thing, right? Yeah. It'd be interesting if they have any pregame effects. I'm going to assume they don't. I don't think you bring in Leyline against us. It just doesn't do as much as I mean, as it if, does if they did, great. Brilliant. Mm. Please. Go, go for it. Yeah, turn 2 Oko here feels feels great. The, the fetches are perfect as well, because it means we can just go for basics for the rest of the game as well. Yeah. So we'll use the um, the Misty for blue, the Pluto Delphi for swamp, and the, the Verdant for a second forest if needed. Or, potentially, a black dual land if we draw a Leyline and we want to get that out on turn 3. Yeah, perfect. If this is going to be a Loam, it's not too bad. If it's going to be a Bob, we do have Oko, which is nice. Okay. It's not too bad, okay. Okay, yeah. I mean, that hitting that is way better than it hitting an Oko. I mean, oh. Well, I mean, I would have liked it to hit an Oko now, but whatever. What have they got? Knight. Okay. Leovold. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Brainstorm in response? Maybe I find a horse? I... So my next turn is definitely Oko. I think you just fire off the Brainstorm here. We're definitely getting a basic... Uh... Island. Yeah. Island, anyway. That's fine. I mean, even when we put cards back, like I don't think it matters if we draw one of them again, of the two cards we're back. Like, all the cards in our hand are fine. Yeah. Also, just, you know, the ability to play Oko on a on a free board is really nice. Yeah, I think this is worth the risk. Okay. Well, Course is a great blocker for it, so I don't mind going, uh... Land, land, we draw a land, and then we have four lands. Yep, yeah, this is fine. Well thought out. Well thought out. Well reasoned. You know, just take it slow, take it calm, let them burn down their clock. Yeah, play that one. Basic swamp. Catch the swamp, yeah, sounds good. Play Oko. Now, do I just tick up Oko to six? Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Like, currently his thing is a three three with no effect. Because we're, okay. we're not drawing any cards and we're not uh, the only downside is that if they play a third land, a blue source, play Oko, make Mox Diamond 3-3, three, three, attack Oko for 6. 
I mean, that, w w like, what's your other option? Turn yeah. it to five, and he still kills it? Like, yeah. I guess, turn the Leovold off. Uh, except this way, he doesn't draw, I guess, yeah, but, like, uh, we've got a Brock Decay, like, he's gonna draw one card either way. I think this is mm. fine. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Plague's okay. Elk. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, let's let's think let's think about this for a second. Because you put your fetches the wrong way around and use the uh, bird instead of the delta to get your uh, swamp, you can't fetch a second forest for Corsa. Frustrating, but okay. Um. So I think you make your food into a two-two. You play Corsa of Crufix fetching a duel. And Corsa's there to block the, the Leovold and keep it blocked. Yep. And your 2-2 two -two Elk trades with the Plague Engineer if he chooses to attack with it. Yeah, okay. So I, I think that's that. still fine. Yeah? Yeah, well this ticks up anyway. Yeah, so that's, the Leovold that's, itself can't yeah. kill it, which is nice. Yeah, that's, that's good. And then we can also hold up Brainstorm. Brainstorm does nothing and then we'll Leovold out, okay? Think about that. Come on, man. Think about it. Don't, don't cast that. Sorry, Jacob. <laughs> come on, come on. Uh, if you cast a brainstorm into a Leovold, I'm leaving the stream. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I like that. Force on top, okay. To be That's... fair, we get to brainstorm, get force if if needed. If needed. <laughs> put two guys on top. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm just I'm just putting the lines out there for time because of have course you ever, have you ever had force of will be a four for one? Uh no, I have not. Like, well today might today might be the day. <laughs> I like that our opponent's stuck on mana as well. Oh, never mind, they have Lime now. Yeah. Because they missed the land drop last turn. So we know that they've got two cards that are like actual gas in their hand. Spells that they couldn't previously cast. Screws. That's fine. That's going to be a, a prime uh, prime elking target, I feel. They don't really have any good attacks here either. I mean, we're oh. happy to trade this. Oh, you definitely trade the elk with that. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Hmm. Oh, hundred percent trade your elk for their plague engineer. Yeah, that's weird attack because we do have blocks. like perfect blockers. To be fair, we could have also just traded with the uh, Leo, which maybe would have been better. Uh, I think this is. I think getting the plague engineer off the table is more important. Okay. In the elk, in the great elk race, because this turn you're probably going to abrupt decay the Leo mm. and elk elk the the Scoos. Yep. Um, and then have Brainstorm Force all ready to go. Yep. Yeah, so I, I brought, I brought to K Leo. Oh, you also get to play the, uh, the land from the top of the library, which is nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't forget the land. Don't forget the free land. You're also tapped out, which is nice. So Veil of Summer isn't something to consider here. Yeah, we are giving them a free card this way. It was better to block the other way. There's Veil, which is nice. I'd leave that on top. I wouldn't yep. be fetching. The other thing that we traded the free card for is obviously two extra loyalty on Oko. Hmm. Like, it's not like we, we didn't get anything out of it. Four mana. This could be Vraska. Green Suns for three. Uh. Okay. Because we can Oko steal whatever comes out, right? Yeah, we do need a food. We can, uh. I guess you could. F I just don't know if I want to force this. I think it's fine because it means it's not going into the into the deck again. It takes okay, the green suns yeah. out, which is pretty good. And I'm just going to pitch the second Oko. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh. <laughs> 
So if they attack here, okay. We did have the option of, if we want Veil, we can brainstorm into it, but we could fetch for Dried Arbor and actually trade with the Scoos. Yeah. But we can also brainstorm here. Oh no, it's fine. Because you can brainstorm and set your top of your library up sort of however you want between the Verdant and the uh, thing. So like I would brainstorm here for sure. Yeah, okay. Because like you can put a land back on top to get like a free land drop and, and a, a life. You can cast Leyline of the Void here if you wanted. Like you put Force back, Brainstorm back. No, that doesn't work. Um, you could... Um, I guess you put Leyline back, Veil back on top, and you keep Force Brainstorm. Yeah, because then if we need the veil, we can brainstorm for it. But if not, we can just. Or we can force. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's the line. Put on top. Because we know we can't brainstorm into a blue card. Because we know what the three cards are. Because there's still yeah. the library underneath all of that. Very true. Leyline's okay because if they if they want to go back onto the loam strategy, it does turn off that. But of course, the later a leyline is, the worse it is. But at least our well, I mean, doesn't have too much. Right now, the two there. cards they have in hand that we don't know about are lands. Mm. Like we know they have two lands. They just loam, so they have loam. Tabernacle's gonna be fine. That's yeah, okay. Um I think I'm okay with drawing the veil here. Yeah, yeah, I definitely wanna draw the veil. And pay for your thing. Now I'm okay just actually uh, trading here for the food and just attacking for five. Getting well, attacking point. for two, because you can't attack this time. It's going to have summoning sickness, the, uh, the Scoos. Will it? Yeah, yeah, it hasn't been on the battlefield under your control. Ah, oh, interesting. Getting okay. it last time. That's cool. But you do get to attack, yes. And I think I'm just going to fetch this Lay Line away, to be fair. But I might brainstorm beforehand. To get the uh, Silver Library. That we know is underneath it. Is there a Silver Library? Yep. There's a Silver Library underneath the Ley Line. You get to see it on top when you rainstorm from your uh, course up. Um, come on, Doodle. This is, this is rookie stuff. Pay for both your things. Silver Library. Stop to create a food. We can then brainstorm with the trop. Put back Oko and Leyline. Fetch. Yep. Play the Sylvan Library. Hold up, Force of Will. Perfect. Oh, if there's a land on top, we can also play it. Yeah. No, that's fine. It's more than fine. Okay, they're just gonna concede. I mean, they huh. really got—they got eight minutes left on the clock. We also wasted a lot of time that game. So. Yeah, I think running this back is pretty good. Corsa, I think, is good enough in this matchup because of how good Oko is. I don't think it's better than Tiles Tracker. I think the actual body is just so relevant. I think maybe. Like, do we take out Jace and bring a play engineer back in? On the draw. Yeah. I don't mind that. Especially even just answering bobs. Like, that's that's more than fine for me. If yeah, we can try to go, okay. like, turn one Noble Hierarch into turn two Plague Engineer when they go turn two or turn one Bob. Yeah. It does die to Bolt, but a lot of our stuff dies to Bolt, unfortunately. Uh, does, is our opponent playing red? Like, we saw all the colors except red. They so. are not. <laughs> um, but this hand is fine. <laughs> I was confused for a second. Like, hang on. This end seems okay. It's gonna six. Oh, 
Oof only turns off Mox Diamond. I don't think it's enough to warrant the Oof. Especially if they don't really, you know, if they don't start on a Mox Diamond start, then it's not as great as it could be. Oh, Ooh, Sylvan Library. Do you like... I'm gonna Decay that. Yeah, Abrupt Decay Swing for one. Yeah, I think, I think, oh, good. Yeah, yeah, this is fun. Yeah. I don't think it's worth letting them have the extra advantage there. Hmm. Just put an end to that nonsense immediately. Loam's gonna be fine. We can go and get Ooze if we wish. And activate it immediately? Yeah. Swords. Or, or not. Interesting. Okay, let's just go for Oko then. Oko, yeah. Fetch, fetch Island, play Oko. Yeah. This feels like an okay matchup for us, honestly. I think we're just pretty unlucky game one. With the, the, the mana sources happening. Let's see if they loam. They do. They hit Sylvan Library and Bob, which is kind of nice for us. They hit a Maze, which is interesting. Turn into an Elk. What's this plague engineer? Oh, Sabine's, Sabine's reclamation on Silver the Library. Okay. Definitely want to decay this. So probably make this a three three. Yep. Um, decay the library. Attack. Pass. What's yeah. interesting there is they didn't have an extra land drop, mm. and they also didn't like from the loan to get lands to play. Like they went for the reclamation instead. So I imagine their hand is kind of mediocre here. Scoos is going to be fine. I think we just make a food and attack. Yeah, that's, that's okay with me. Yeah. Play land and then just hold up Ice Fang. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is all good. This also means next time we can trade the Oko for the Ooze, most likely. Or we can just flash in the Ice Fang. Plague is going to be fine. Let's see what they name. Probably Elk. Nice. Yeah. Well, we can take either of these things. So, so the interesting thing here is we definitely take the Scoos. I, I think you take the Scoos here. With the Oko, you Don't fetch another. No, no, no. I think you take the Scoos, and then you get a, another green source, and you exile both the lands, so his life from all turned off. Yeah, okay. I think you flash into the Codal at the end step anyway, of course. Yeah. Draw a card, Veil's pretty nice. Nice thing. Okay, so let's switch food and Scoos. Yep. Eat and the. I think you eat the Verdant Catacombs for sure. Mm -hmm. don't, don't worry about the Spins, he's missed two mana, he's missed two land drops. Yeah. Um, right. uh, and I, I think it's worth fetching the Green Duel and uh, getting rid of the Maze of it as well. Even though they can Wasteland you. Like Maybe that, in response to the Loam, then we can target it. Yeah, that's that's fine, it's got potential. Um, I mean, the other thing is it also leaves Ice Fang, Codal, and Veils to Wasteland you. I mean, if he wastelands you after playing a blue or black spell. Actually, no. It doesn't, that doesn't save you from wasteland. I have read Veil of Summer correctly this time, everyone. I've, I've read I've read Veil. It, it can be wastelanded. I think they're going to tap uh, wasteland for loam there, but now they've seen that they can just wasteland us and then loam with these two lands and get back. I mean, you can also float the green and exile the wasteland, which is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Bob's uh, gonna be fine. Bob is fine. That's what our Plague Engineer is for. Yeah. Okay, so here we can just flash in an Ice Fang. Probably block the Plague Engineer. Okay, no blocks. Oh. Okay. Yeah, flash in another, another Ice Fang. Get the beatdown going. Hmm. Um, now, I don't mind... Um, Plague Engineer Human. Yeah, sounds fine. I would have done it with the uh, the non the, the non basic forest to keep the veil up in their turn, but that's okay. Okay. Um, it's all good. It's not the end of the world, I think. Could uh, make something a three three here, and then just attack in. Well, it's a, it makes it a two two. So. Yeah. Uh, Which is still okay. 
Yeah, I guess it's fine. This could attack as well. My bad. What do you reckon the group name for Codals will be? A flock? Interesting. That's an interesting question. I never thought of that. And then it's going to concede, so... Pretty fortunate. But we do get a first match, which is really nice. Uh, I'm just going to go back uh, real quick, if you want to talk to it. chat. I'll talk to the chat. Well, a group of snakes is referred to as a den, bed, pit, or nest. And uh, a codal is a word meaning serpent. So, I would say... Uh, that, like, I, I pick a group name for, for snake and use that. So maybe, like, a, a pit of codals. Maybe not a pit, because they fly. But, um... Like... Maybe a, like, a... A den of codals. A nest of codals. Get that bird-like element involved. Um, perhaps. Um... So a, a let, let's go with a nest of codals. In the in that case, we drew a nest of codals against our opponent. Yeah, I'm glad that we could resolve the uh, the group name or codal on the stream today. Um, do you want to go back and spread the word about the nest of codals? A drudge of codal. Drudge of codal. Ah. Uh, I associate drudge with groups of skeletons, a drudge skeletons. Um, welcome back, Doodle. Um, nice. Uh, it's uh, we've decided it's a uh, a nest of curdles. A nest of curdles. Interesting. Yeah, I like yes, a nest. Uh, I think a nest uh, is pretty good. I, I did a, I did a quick Google of group names for collectors of snake because as you know, curdle is a word for serpent and. Uh, Nests seem the most fitting out of the different snake group names since they, you know, these codals happen to fly. Um, I like that a lot. Like, yeah. like birds, yeah. A nest. I believe codals creature type is elk, not snake. <laughs> Classic. So we went down to... And as we know, a group of elk is called a gang of elks. So, um, a gang of codals. Have we played against two four-color decks? Uh, yeah, four color Delver and four color um, Loam. Mm. Yeah. Uh, this is another one of those hands where we just have the Green Suns and the Dry Dubber, but I don't mind it. The uh, the Pluto Delta can go get a, a Trop, which is nice. We also have Force of Will if needed. Wow, this person has played some interesting Legacy decks. I'm definitely going to keep this. I think it's All pretty right. solid. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Sounds I just good. don't I don't want to see like an ancient tomb. That's what I really don't want to see. Volcanic, okay. Ponder. Sure. Interesting. We'll see what they do with Ponder. Yeah. I chose not to shuffle. Okay. So I'm gonna assume that their their mana base is all good. Misty. Um I'm just going to lead with Misty because next turn I'm most likely going to go Basic Forest, Basic Swamp, Green Suns for one. Yeah, okay. Just get a Noble Hierarch out. At which point we've just lost to Sneak and Show, so it's okay. Mm. <laughs> so we side in the Fluster Storms. And probably the Cleek. Pithing Needles named Sneak Attack, I guess. Red Horde. Never, never mind, they're playing Rogue Delver. Forget about me. Probably could have forced that as well. Goose. Hmm. Goose kind of does the same thing. But it keeps us with a, a green a green sun zenith. Yeah. Play the Delta. Oh no, it's fine. So, do you think? The only thing is, if you had done it with the Green Sun Zenith, they obviously don't know that you're a blue deck, and now they do. Do they? Yeah, because you play, if you play Gilded Goose, you're playing Oko. That's that's the only reason to play Goose. Okay. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> we had this discussion in the chat in game one. Chain Lightning is interesting. I guess we don't really want to force it because then they can just flash it back anyway with the Dreadhorde. Yeah. 
Do you want to pay rent to do this? I do not. Because <laughs> that'd be real good to just kill the Dreadhold Arcanists. Man, your opponent's hand is gas. But yeah, I don't mind uh, next turn Basic Island, Plague Engineer, name Wizard. Yeah. And we can just 6 here, let's be honest. Put their cards back from Brainstorm, didn't shuffle, then played Ponder. Hmm. Curious, I'm curious. Oko is nice as well. I like your Plague Engineer plan for now, I think. Okay. With Force of War back up. Because Oko makes this thing bigger. I guess it makes your thing into a 3 3 immediately. Oh, hey, let's stop. Let's ask chat. What do you guys think, chat? Yeah, I guess we have three players. Like, Leovold is also an option, but they do have Chain Lightning. But we do then still have Force of Will. Engineer naming Wizard from mm. uh, Clans. Don't force to protect it. Okay, don't protect it. Force protect Oko next time. Hmm. Why not Oko this time then? Are we using Play Engineer as bait? My carrier is not bait. Alright, let's run out Play Engineer. Seems fine. I don't think they have days. I'm confident they don't. They have days. God damn it. Um, let it yeah, go. I think we just let, let this go. go, unfortunately. Let it go. Let it go. The Android Arbor is just super awkward in your hand, isn't it? Mm. I can just pray that they don't have days. Goif is pretty good. This is actually like quite a threat. So if we force this, it's quite nice because then it just leaves the Dreadhold as their only uh, threat right now. But if we let it resolve yeah. and then let the Oko resolve, we're probably not... I think keeping protection for Oko is better. I guess Oko bought, buys us some time. Because yeah. next turn, if the, if the Oko resolves, they're definitely spending a whole turn to deal with the Oko. We do yeah. have outs to like abrupt decay as well, which is nice. So I don't mind letting this go for resolve. Bayou, Bayou is kind of nice because it plays around days. The other nice side is if they flashback chain lightning with their dragon canister right now, the ghost shrinks. Yeah, it's very true. Only for right now, but it's just worth them. They could obviously have more sorceries. Act like we're holding up um, Veil of Summer. Yeah, that's a main deckable card. Uh, what do you what do you elk here? You elk your food, right? I think so, and then we can have Force as protection if anything goes really wrong. Okay. Hang on. Hmm. It's tough because I kind of want this dried arbor in uh, in hand as well. That'd be really nice in the deck. Sorry, so we get green suns for it. If we wanted just an extra blocker, just for the turn. So the food is pretty much already hit by the chain lightning. So if we're making a food, we're pretty much saying we're going to force the chain lightning. Hmm. 
Hello from the back. Okay. Hey, so what I'm saying is that if we make the food a 3-3, uh, a three, three, what we're pretty much saying is that we're going to force the chain lightning that's going to be hitting the food. Yep. That's fine, right? Yes. And we block the Dreadhold Archivist, right, at the same time? Yep, and then the Oko just takes four. Or three, because they, if they don't cast like something like a Ponder. I think I'm okay elking my own things and then just trying to draw into Abrupt Decay to try to deal with their threats. This is fine for now, yeah. My bolt is nice. Okay, no sorcery, which is nice. I'm assuming they both attack our uh, Roko. Yep. That's fine. So you force the chain lightning, block the dread horde. Goy fits your thing down to two. You have green sun zenith next time. You have one mana open for days if they have it. They didn't force your Oko. They also have six cards in hand. <laughs> oh, no, it's crazy. It's <laughs> and they have force backup. Okay. So at yes. least now the the attack still doesn't kill the Oko, which is nice. Yeah. Why don't you pay red red to do this? Can't catch a break today, hey. Um, okay, what about Green Suns for Iceman Kotal? What about it? <laughs> like, it's, it's fine. Um... Probably should have not played this first, but getting another Green Suns really nice. Um, um, I think we're just going to hit the... Make a food token? He's got nothing left to flash back, right? Hmm. And if you make a food token, you block, you chump block a goat with dried up, and you chump block one with, you block trade with Ice Fang Kotal, and he's like three, and your Oko survives on two. Hmm. You make your Arbor a three, three, it still just chumps and dies. Um, I think you just make a food token, right? Elk Arbor? Um, you could Elk Arbor. Elk Arbor means Arbor blocks and tra kills the Arcanist. You trade with the Goyf with Ice Fang. Oko dies and they still have a Goyf. Hmm. Um. Rough. If you Is... make a make a food. Hey, episode twenty-five. If uh, uh, if we make this a three-three, does it lose being a land? It can't be wastelanded. Uh, yeah, it becomes a three-three elf. Maybe that's a consideration. I don't um, mind having a 3-3. Three, three. Okay, make, make it a 3-3. Three, three. Um... Making that a 3-3 three, three means we've kind of said we're happy to let Oko die. Yep. Which, I mean, it turns on the other Okos that we could draw into. <laughs> ah, this is interesting. I mean... I think we just block one and keep the dried upper back, right? Yeah, in which case, we... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Hmm. How good is Oko? I mean, we, 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 at the point where you made the Arbor a 3-3, you've committed to Oko dying. That was yep. the choice you made. Yep. Because otherwise the better thing to do would have been to make a food. Yes. <laughs> Delva's okay. Goyf is now bigger as well, but mm. obviously you can abrupt decay it. Um... Could also go for another Ice Fang. Just to draw a card and have another blocker. Yeah, they didn't have removal last time. He's down to one card in hand. Toxic Deluge would be an excellent top deck. I kind of want to draw a land here. Uro is not too bad. Yeah, it could be, could be okay if we get into the long game here. 
definitely turning around. Like we have the answer for at least one of their threats. The Ice Fang is another answer. The Dried Arbor is kind of an answer for the Dread Horde. Mm. I feel it. I feel a win, Jacob. Okay, okay. I'm, 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 I'm trying to be confident, but it's difficult. Mm. No flip. Okay. No flip at fetch. I put it down to sixteen. <laughs> what, what, why are you excited by that? That means nothing. <laughs> well, this looks like bolt. Ugh. It's pretty good. Bolt's perfect. Jesus Christ, dude. You threw the game away. You threw it away. Another Dreadhorde? Okay, that's fine. A little bit annoying, but not too bad. Oko. Huh. I guess we can tick up the Oko on Tamagoyf to buy some time. And then Oko just dies immediately. Mm. So you're you're essentially fogging for a turn. Yeah. But maybe Uro is better. Just, if you just abrupt decay, the Goyf. I, yeah. think you just, I think you just decay the Goyf. Yeah. And then hopefully you draw like a land, a green land, so you can go like Hierarch Uro or Hierarch Oko and start going towards something more we can also go to 12 by casting o uro play around any counter magic and the next turn have an uncounterable spell and then if we draw a card we can also play noble hero yeah, let's, let's think which one gets us closer to winning if we play uro get a land next time draw a land we can probably flash uro back mm -hmm. which is big um potentially flash uro back get another land we draw land, 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 and then abrupt decay. That could be cool. Yep. Um, I think, yeah, it's... cost. I think Aurora gets us towards winning more, whereas abrupt decay just stops us from losing. Yeah. Obviously, if he has Bolt, he has Bolt, we just lose. Yeah. Because Bolt with Dreadhorde is Bolt, Bolt, plus 12 on board. Yeah, 13, on, 13 damage total. If he has Bolt or Chain Lightning on the top of his deck. I think my opponent's reading Uro. Okay, we'll draw the card Good. first. Good. Oof. Okay. Okay, there's the land. Petra so, Trop. Yeah. Play Noble Iraq. Yep. Potentially can Uro again next turn, and. Uh... Or Decay and Oko. Yeah. Ponder. Okay, the war's not yet over. They just need to hit Hopefully one of their, something. like, six bolt effects. <laughs> yeah, sadly Swamp can't cast the Euro, but we do have the they Noble Hierarch. They chose so the Shuffle. The Shuffle's good for us. I don't think we jump block here either. I mean, do we die right now? Attacking for 8, 9, 10, so we go to 1? And they get another Pondo? Hmm. No chump. All in. Believe. Hopefully a shuff. Choose Chooses not to shuffle. Not to shuffle. Ugh. Ugh. Just take it all. Take it all on the chin. Blue? Ponder. Okay. Okay. The war is not yet over. <laughs> hmm. Uro. I guess we have Uro and Decay. Yeah. Just make sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I guess we can also block with Noble Hierarch and then Bolt. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait. oh no, Dried Arbor's already down. I was going to say we could draw into Dried Arbor, but that doesn't do anything. We'll play it. 
Okay. So they attack. We block Goif Goif. Abrupt K the Delva. Take two, go to two. Mm -hmm. uh, I, as far as I can tell, we're gonna win this. <laughs> <laughs> Is this his bolt? <laughs> 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 oh. Classic. Okay. Um, so I definitely like Fatal Push. Um, yeah. I like the Veils. Uh... Yeah, I like Veil. I like Veil a lot. I think that's it. Uh, what do you think of Fluster over Force? Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's like fine. down two Force, up one Fluster, up two Fluster? Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, take out JTMS. Uh, take out... Liliana's uh, pretty good against Red Horde. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Um, take out a Green Suns. What do you think of Trinisphere on the draw? On the play, sorry. Uh, I don't know, man. That's a hard. That's a hard one to tell. I want to. Um, I I actually haven't put it in yet, uh, except for a game yesterday where we didn't see it. So I want to see how it would go. Okay, fine. Bring it in. Bring it in. I mean, I didn't see them play Oko, okay, so as far as I'm concerned, they don't have Oko. Okay. Um, maybe take Lily back out. Maybe Lily. I don't. I don't know. I feel like we're a bit tight on cards here. Yeah. Um. I maybe Sylvan Library. We can't be too aggressive with it. Yeah. Take it out. Come on. Get out of here. Um... Caracas. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm fond of taking that Caracas. Yeah. Don't think right. the cards are very good. <sighs> Jitesh, we know it's bad. Dougal doesn't care. He wants to play. He wants to cast Tri- Look, we're going to have an opening hand with a Noble Hierarch, so it's going to be fine. Yeah, we're going to play turn two Trinosphere. Our opponent's going to play like Ponder turn one and not have days. Green Sun seems better than Fluster. Yeah, that's... Mm, I think it's fine. Didn't you already submit your deck list? Can you change it still? Yep. Oh, wow. Wow. They allow takebacks in this game? They Jesus. do. Must be nice. <laughs> Green Suns is pretty hungry, but usually it's going for something that's that's pretty good, like drawing us a card or getting us life or not allowing our opponents to actually draw any cards. Yes, to play first. Hmm. One land. Mulligan. Bloody dried arbor. I put it back. You put it back. Uh, this hand is also horrendous. This is another mulligan. Are we okay with going down to five? To be fair, this this hand can cast everything we draw into. It also has two shuffle effects for brainstorm if we want to use one first and then keep one. We have removal. Uh, I don't think you can keep this hand, man. I think okay. you go to five. Yeah. 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 This is this is okay. Probably dropping the crossal crucifix and the scavenging ooze. Yeah. I guess we could also just try to go for two lands and draw into the third with Ice Fang. Yeah, put Trump back. Oh, Paul's here. That's that's what I like to see. Ashin. Hey Paul. Nineteen month subscriber. Thank you very wow. much for the uh, coffee as well. Very nice guy. Wow, good well. job with coffee. Corsair is pretty nice catch up, but I think just having the fluster can be good enough. Honda chose not to shuffle. Okay. Man, your chat is just lighting you up. Apparently, you're the worst magic player of all time. That's fair. I've definitely heard that before. Um, I like Noble Hierarchy off a of basic. Yeah, sounds good. Fluster Storm if they try and uh, bolt it. Now we also have the mana for uh, Petrinosphere, so pretty happy. <laughs> Finally, it was a Snowball Hierarch. <laughs> Bold. I hate it. I kind of like Fluster here, just to keep this Noble Hierarch around. I'm fine with this. 
But if they force the storm, you've lost the storm. Ooh, Veil, rough. Even worse. Three for one. It's okay. Hey, this match is over. I think then main phase Ice Fang, if we hit a land drop, we can play it. Playing the one you just snap drew, make it look like you're uh, running it out. Oh my god, it's all over. <laughs> the days is rough. Especially on the draw. They still have, like, a, they've got seven cards in hand. One of them is a land that we know about. That means they still have six cards. Jesus, there you go. I thought you were good at magic. I know, right? Just getting crushed here. Hooting Angels is really good. I came because I was told you were good. Your Ice Fang doesn't even have Death Touch. Sadly. We, I guess we could have played at main phase to draw into a, like a fetch land, but... This is fine. I mean, it would have just gotten dazed again if you'd played it before playing a land. Hmm. On the ground, see. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, I guess we just go Scooze pass with Decay up. We might as well attack in for one if we're not blocking. Yeah. Definitely not blocking the 4 4 trample with a 1 1 with no abilities. Hmm. Hey, Sven, thanks for the follow. Uh, let me know where you're from. If you play Legacy, what do you play in Legacy? Is the extra life here relevant? There's no other reason to... I guess if we draw into Uro, we kind of want to have five cards, but this Abrupt Decay is going to be the fifth card anyway. Just, yeah, just, just in the life here. Yeah, it's fine. It means we're not holding up Abrupt Decay, but I think that's fine. Uh, yeah. Doesn't kill the Hooting Mandrels anyway. It's not like he has hasty threats either, so... Mm. Ponder into Wasteland's pretty nice as well. Hey, Dan Thatcher, thanks for the follow. Uh, let me know where you're from. If you play Legacy, what do you play in Legacy? Snow covered. I guess now we have Death Touch. Brilliant. We've won the now game. Now we're on. Literally can't lose. We didn't see Stifle. Thankfully for us. We're okay. Yep. Cool. Yep. yep. That was. That I was think thing we're just gonna die to the Hooting Mandrels. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, could, could always draw Roko, mate. Yeah, that's true. Leveled's pretty cool. Still doesn't kill the Mandrels. <laughs> Possible. Days, days. Like Pyroblast? Man. Triple days. Mate. This is magic. But it's very cool to see how, how bug works like this. Just land a threat, protect it. <laughs> Rough. <laughs> So uh, I've enjoyed our time together, dude, but I've had something come up, so I don't think... That's cool, man. A huge thank you for, for coming in and, uh, and for hosting for this first three. I, I've, been, I've enjoyed it. I'm not leaving just because you're losing. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's fine. Hopefully we can come back in and finish 3-2. Uh, that would be kind of nice. And I, I hope the rest of your stream goes well. Thank you very much. And I'll, uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Nice. All the best. Enjoy your Sunday. Stay safe with the virus yeah. around. Yeah, please. You stay safe as well, mate. No, no late night walks, alright? Thank you. Alright. Farewell. See you later, uh, stream. See you, man. Legacy only players for your stream and recommendation. Give your follow. Ah, oh, very cool. Nice. You're from Germany. Um, this end is pretty nice. We don't have Dryad Arbor, which is cool, so we can Green Sun straight away for a bit of ramp. We have Ice Wing and Force, which is nice as well, so I'm going to keep this. I'm not sure what we're up against, but hopefully it works out okay. Ancient Ziggurat. Interesting. So if this is going to be an Aether Vile start, I definitely like 
forcing, but it's not. So this is most likely going to be humans, which is interesting. Um, so I'm still probably just going to green suns here just to get ahead because if we draw into Oko, having it on turn two is just so good and having the backup green suns is really nice. Ah, oh, Ancient Sigurar only taps for creature mana. Okay. Something like Kite Sail will be pretty rough to see. Another Hierarch. That's fine. I guess Plague Engineer is going to be really nice in this matchup. Thalia. Thalia is pretty rough, but we do have Caracas open, so I'm not too unhappy here. Bayou. I think Caracas pass, and we can hold up Force Negation. They do play Wasteland, but I'm okay with them Wastelanding the Caracas. I probably want to take, do it in their turn as well. I probably don't care about taking the 4 damage here. And then Caracasing in their end step so they can't cast it. Kite Sail is going to be okay. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty useless um, outside of uh, Vile. So this is going to resolve. Probably taking the Green Suns. Some lists do play Dismember, but probably not really scared of Dismember here. I think I'm okay with bouncing this here and then untapping because most of our stuff is three mana anyway, so we can just crack this in our turn as well. And if they're gonna just recast the Thali, I'm not too unhappy. I'd rather probably try to use my life total as a resource and buy as much time as I can. That's fine. Come on, Plague Engineer. Brazenborough, interesting. I think Delta is pretty nice because we can fetch for a um, a basic. Could also just Ice Fang here to see what we what we hit. I don't mind that because if we draw into like a Noble Hierarch, I probably want to cast it with this Dried Arbor. The card I'm probably most scared of is Thalia's Lieutenant because it takes all their creatures away from being um, in the realm of Plague Engineer. I think the mana base is fine. The crack is just interesting, but it's only a one of, so you don't usually see it. Force of Will wouldn't be too bad either. They haven't played a Cavern of Souls. Green Suns, okay. Sadly not the greatest because of Thalia, so let's just pass back.
Probably attacking with the Kite Tail here with Exalted, yeah. That's gonna be fine. We'll take it here and then hopefully just have this Ice Fang on next turn with the uh, Burden Catacombs. Kite Sail. Yeah. One card left for my opponent. They might even cycle this Waterlog Grove right now to try to draw into something, but they're not going to, so... Let's crack a Sistalia. Brainstorm or Plague. Okay, Brainstorm's pretty nice. I don't mind Brainstorm because we can get rid of the Force Negation. And then play the Verdant Catacombs, fetch away what we don't want, turn Ice Fang on. We also have the option of fetching for an Underground Sea or a Trop to get a double second blue source, but I think Brainstorm here is fine. Haha, <laughs> there it is. Alright, I think we put back the Bayou. And the Force. Keep the Jace. Play Verdant. Fetch. I think I'm happy just going for a, a Snow Covered here. I could go for Trop to get double blue, but I think we can draw into it. Maverick next. I think I'll be back on Maverick in a, a little while. I'd love to give this time, this deck, a, a lot of reps. So I could attack with the Ice Fang here as well. Um, my opponent could play something to boost these up, like a Thali's Lieutenant, but it would die straight away. Um, I think it's okay attacking here. My opponent could also have Palace Jailer for the Plague Engineer. Yeah, I feel like Bug Zenith is kind of in between two decks, whereas Maverick has just like the one strategy. You just picked up Bant Maverick? Bant Maverick's very cool. Big fan of that deck. Hey, Trebowers, thanks for the follow. Uh, let me know where you're from. If you play Legacy, what do you play in Legacy? And opponent just doesn't have an out to the playing engineer here, so... Pretty lucky for us. Um, I like Fatal Push. I like Collector Oof because it can hit the Vials, which is nice. Um, I don't mind the Last Hope. And I guess Needle is okay. Could be a little bit... Interesting. We can definitely take out the Force Negation. Um, the Force of Wills are probably coming out, especially seeing it's as it's a 4 cavern deck. Um, so instead of countering things on the stack, I'd rather just make sure they're not that great actually on the field. Your Kansas Reanimator show and tell in Bant Maverick. Very cool. Okay. What are, what are you playing in Bant that's blue other than Oko, if anything? We have one more card. I don't mind Trinus. I don't mind Click just because it is a flyer. They do have Caracas. Tireless Track is another interesting one. I think the click's fine. I, I kind of want the extra flyer. Maybe I don't. Maybe I want the actual, actual creature. It can be found with Green Suns as well, which is nice. So we'll see how this goes. I think this match is definitely favored, especially with the main deck Plague Engineers. So 
just Oko. I do like that. I like the Bent Maverick Splash that is just for Oko. Very subtle, but it doesn't really interrupt your mana either, which is good. I'm assuming you're just like playing like two trops, perhaps. Maybe one trop. One top drop one tundra. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Um, this is a this is a mull. I don't want to keep as much as as good as this hand is reactively. I don't want to keep a one lander. So I'm going to mulligan this. And this is another one lander. This is good. We'll keep this. Um, I think we bought him a land and the tracker. Just because the collector roof is so good if they are on an Aether Ball start. Mum. Okay. Green Suns. I think because we have two pretty good spells for Kite Sail, I'm not going to use the Green Suns here. And I don't mind going for just a Snow-Covered Forest into Noble Hierarch. There's Wasteland. Okay, so we're definitely trying to play around that for the rest of the game. <laughs> Dali is okay. Astrolabe. Interesting. I don't mind Astrolabe land pass. Uh, a yes, Australian Eastern Standard Time. You're correct. Ice Fang. Okay. Collector Oof does interact with our Astrolabe, which is probably not too annoying. It's kind of nice because the Astrolabe means that the, uh, the Wasteland isn't doing too much here. Kite Sail is going to be fine. I wonder if they must get a brainstorm because brainstorm could be uh, digging for plague engineer. This is okay. Leovold. Leovold's actually quite nice. So let's. I guess that means we have to get a black source. I guess it doesn't mean it doesn't actually matter because of the astrolabe, but I like this because without an exalted creature, they can't actually attack with Thalia here, and if they want to Caracas it, at least draws us a card as well, which is really nice. Opponent has five cards, but they are stuck on two lands. And it looks like they haven't drawn a third if they're pausing here. They're probably trying to think about what they can do with their two mana. Probably just attacking the air with Kite Sail here. Brainstorm. Oh, actually, we get to draw off that. That's pretty nice. Oko. Haha. <laughs> What'll they take? Go 
Goose. Goose is interesting. We can definitely drill first. And then play Goose after with Noble Hierarch. Goose also just blocks the Kite Cell Freebooters really nicely. Is nice, it means we can get back one of these. I guess they have the Mother of Runes as well. Let's go with Goose and just pass. We can't really attack because then you know we're tapped out, so they can just use the Mother effectively. But I think next turn, because we have the Decay in hand, I can be more aggressive with uh, Leovold and start attacking. Champion's going to be fine. Still no great attacks from my opponent here. They could attack with both, but then they're using their mum most likely. And then we have Decay next turn. So nice little win for us there. Borrower. Borrower is interesting. I kind of want to keep my land drops going, so I think I might actually just brainstorm here. Bounce Mom end of turn is also quite nice, which we can still do if we still brainstorm here. Kind of want to get rid of the Collector Oof at this point. So if we draw into a fetch land, that would be nice. We don't, but we do draw into Uro and Green Suns. So we can actually still uh, go for Dried Arbor to get a, a fetch out of this. So let's put this on top and probably the Uro. Sack this. Green Suns for zero to get the Shuffle and also get the Dried Arbor, I guess. We do want that extra land drop. One card I, I probably am scared of is Orzhov Pontiff, which gets played in humans. Especially because it would hit our Ice Fang, our Noble Hierarch, and in this case, our Dried Arbor as well. Hey, Mike, welcome. My opponent seems to be reading a lot of my cards, which is interesting. And no great attacks, we'll just pass here. Plague Engineer definitely the card that I'm digging for. There's a third land for my opponent. Blue. Meddling Mage. Okay. Probably naming Plague Engineer. Okay. I guess we can still bounce it with Brazenborough. But then they have Mum, so we have to decay it. It's definitely going to be a weird setup to try to get out of uh, the Meddling Mage. 
Huh. That's interesting. I think here I'm actually happy just putting the Ice Fang in front of the Kite Sail with Oko. And then if they get protection, we can still use Abrupt Decay on the Mum. This is fine. At least if they wasteland us as well, we draw a card off, off Leovold. They don't. Interesting. There we go. Yes, please. Tiles tracker. So now's a great time to decay mum. Trop's pretty nice. We definitely deal with mum now. Play the trop and pass. I could keep it if I really wanted to, but I think this is fine. My opponent using Wasteland also means they're down to two lands. I'm still pretty happy next turn if we draw like a fetch land would be great because then we can also play tiles tracker and then fetch land. Hey, MTG World at War. Thanks for the follow. Uh, let me know where you're from. If you play Legacy, what do you play in Legacy? Champion's getting pretty big here as well, so that's something to also consider. Maybe a Brazen Borrower hit. I guess they can attack for four this turn. They can attack with both Kite Sail Freebooters. We can block one freely, but then they still get one damage through. Hmm, not attacking with the champion, interesting. Just gonna six heal. Untap. Uro. Uro is pretty nice. Hopefully drawing into more land as well. I could also just play the Sylvan Library this turn, which is pretty great. Uro into a land though is just so good. Because then we can also just use it for Goose. I think I'm happy going for Uro. Draw a card first. Draw a chase. I think Brazen Borrower on Champion is getting closer to being warranted. The Tomic's also a creature that we can deal with Caracas, which is nice. Block here. Take this damage, go to nine. Rough, okay. Well, now we really need to start drawing something. There's Plague, but they do have Meddling Mage. Hmm. I guess the players hold up Brazen Borrower. Which does cost two because of... <laughs> um, Thalia. So I think we just have to hold up the Petty Theft, because we only have one mana open, yeah. Alright. 
block here, take one, five, six, seven, go to two. Uro is pretty good as well. I guess because I want to kind of, kind of try to clear the board. Because they can just go wide around Uro. And I assume with three mana here, they do have enough mana to actually cast another spell. So this champion's going to also be a card to take into consideration. Nothing. Interesting. Petty theft on Meddling Mage. Delta. So if we play Engineer, we're still taking one in the air? Ay ay ay. They could also have a Palace Jailer to hit the Plague Engineer here. Or something like Ozo Pontiff. Meddling Mage is okay. I think here we just block with the Leovold, and then next turn we can get the Uro back in play. Gain three, which is pretty nice. I definitely want the extra mana. So they cast they named Plague Engineer again. So we can go up to five, which is nice off the engineer of the uh, Uro. Files okay. So let's go blue, blue. Green, green, Uro, Misty, Polluted Delta, Brainstorm, Dried Arbor, Abrupt Decay. Maybe we can draw into a land? That'd be kind of cool. Brainstorm, okay. Um, and now we just pass back. Prelate's fine. Probably naming two if they've seen Abrupt Decay. Yeah. I think Untap Jace Bounce Champion is fine. No great attacks for my opponent, unfortunately. Misty, okay. I guess track is also pretty nice because we can get some clues off it. No, I think Jace is the play. Jace is a little safer. They can just put it back into play, but it's going to be a 1 1. Play a land and pass. I guess we can also attack with Uro. Yeah, I'm happy to attack with Uro. That actually seems really good. Uh, 
I stacked them wrong. Apologies. They didn't put in a uh, champion. That seems incorrect. They're probably going to start cracking these horizon canopies, especially seeing they're at five mana. Uh, Plague Engineer, of course. Apologies. No, yeah, sorry. I, I totally forgot about Plague Engineer. <laughs> I mean, they definitely have some outs, like um, Thali's Lieutenant here would be pretty good. Yeah, it is. Okay. Interesting. That's going to be fine. What are they attacking? Us. Hmm. Two, four, six. I don't mind taking this. No great blocks. The one thing I'm actually considering is just swinging next turn for lethal. Because we can green suns for another hierarch and we already have one hierarch which is nine we just need to find one removal spell for a kite cell freebooter so we need two mana to green suns one for the other bird and then we have two mana left over so if we can find if we can fetch here and find an abrupt decay then we can block the prelate or fatal push. Hmm. I guess we gain three off the Uro as well, which is nice. I think we just take this. Get down to one. All right, let's attack first. I guess we can play tracker. Unless we play Corsair as well, because Corsair allows us to get extra lands, and it also gains us life, because we're putting in a land off the Uro as well. Nice. Play this. Gain a life. Now we can play Tracker. Attack with Uro. Put 
put a land in. Go up to six. I don't even just mind Jace Bounce here on Tomic just to keep a flyer from the air. I guess worst case is another Thales Lieutenant. I'm happy with this. Ah, oh, sorry, Tomic. Apologies. <laughs> it shouldn't matter. I believe we have this. gonna concede luckily so just the the grind was pretty nice there but obviously there are a few few turns there where we could have been a little bit more um a little bit cleaner with our play so apologies for that but uh hopefully we can finish this off three two on the play against rob and this hand is interesting it does a double brainstorm, which is nice, but I don't like having the uh, the dryad and no real play to it, so... Hey, KC, thanks for the follow. Uh, let me know where you're from. If you play Legacy, what are you playing Legacy? This is fine. I'm going to keep this, and I'm going to bottom the... Probably the Questing Beast. I kind of want to have two Mana Dorks in this hand, just in case we don't draw into lands. We can also Green Suns for Questing Beast later. Does the deck obsolete non-reactor Nick Fit? I think it's different. I think the big hit for Nick Fit is that a lot of decks are playing basics. So Veteran Explorer is at an all-time low. Um, at least, especially with value. But I think if you want to play some like big creatures and Planeswalkers, the Nick Fit's still a really fun deck to play. Um, but I can definitely see a similarity in the, in the ability for both decks to grind. From California, play Legacy, Enchantress across every format. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Um, here, we're just going to go for Trop into Noble. Enchantress is really nice. I like the, um, the new spinner that the deck got. Very cool. Where your artifacts can't be countered. And you also have the ability to turn lands into big threats due to the amount of enchantments you control, I believe. Destiny Spinner? Stitches Supplier. This is an interesting one, and I think this might actually be a force, just because of how much Stitches Supply turns on the deck, and this is most likely going to be Hogak. So I don't mind forcing this. Because once they start getting their graveyard going, there's not much left to force. So, pretty pretty aggressive there, but I think that once the Stitcher Supply is in play, it just turns on so many more things for my opponent. Um, Ice Fang's interesting. Okay. Probably just fetch up a Bayou here and play the Gilded Goose. And then Green Suns for Scavenging Ooze seems pretty good against this deck. So hopefully we get to that, do that next turn. Yeah, I believe it was our Ali Andrazi who was playing that deck. And it played really well on camera, which is nice for, for them as well. Alt is okay. So I think like a, a green source here would be great. Force. Not the worst. Um, kind of want to use the food here. Just to hold up a green source instead of them being able to respond to. Because I believe you can respond to this. 
Maybe not. Um, Brazen Burrower is interesting. It also increases the force count, which is kind of nice. Um, and also just to have a 3-1 flyer can be pretty good. Um, but yeah, Trophy is definitely a, a pretty good card. Um, that deals with a lot of things that this deck probably has a hard time dealing with. Trophy is something that I've considered in the board. But this is only my second league with the deck, so um, there is a guy on you on uh, on Twitter that's obviously played the deck to a challenge win um, and a few other really good five O's. Let me quickly find it. Bloodgast is going to be fine. I think in response to the sack, I'm going to eat it. Or else they can just play a land. And get it back. Which, of course, with ult is very good. Hedron Crab and Dried Arbor. Okay, so that's pretty good for us. Um, yeah, the out to Glacial Chasm is Questing Beast, because damage can't be prevented. Hmm. I could nearly put them down to a two-turn clock here, but I think it's better just to hold up three blue. There is too much sex in that, dude. <laughs> I think that um, not seeing that it stops Glacial Chasm is probably something that everyone sees. And I think a lot of people would see it too late when they play Glacial Chasm and pass. Okay. So Leyline seems great in this matchup. Um, Veil seems okay. Hmm. What don't we want? I think Corsair is probably a little bit too late. Jace is probably also a little bit too slow. Leovold can probably be dropped down. Hey Rain, welcome. Maybe Ufa Alter. Ufa Alter seems like a great choice. Yeah, that's that's really good. Um, turning off Alter is definitely a, a big piece of what we should be trying to do. I'm not sure if Pithing Needle is worth it for Alter. I think that's just a little bit too narrow. I think at least Oof can attack as well, perhaps. Caracas is still okay because we have like we're playing against Hogak. Force and negation is interesting. I'm trying to think they don't play Loam, so I don't think there's anything that we really care about that goes to the bin that they can flashback. Yeah, force seems pretty bad as well. Questing Beast is great against their creature suite. Ice Fangs are quite nice at just replacing themselves. Decay is great against their creatures and also Alter. Um, I don't mind Astrolabe because it can turn an underground sea or a swamp into a green mana. Sphere is good. Hmm. We're definitely cutting out these. Probably keeping in the four forces. Uro is interesting. Plague Energy is pretty okay because they do have a few X1 creatures. Also on zombie, it's it's pretty pretty awesome. Maybe it's an Oko. Okay. Maybe it's going down to two Okos on the draw is okay. Yeah, I think we might keep Trinisphere for the uh, for the for being on the play if there is a game three. Um, so I'm pretty happy with this sixty. I think this is fine. Fatal push is interesting, but I don't think I'm really wanting to be in a fatal push push position. I think most of the creatures gain value from being destroyed as well, so. There's not too many times that I want a Fatal Push. Maybe Heatron Crab is the only card that I want a Fatal Push. 
but otherwise i think this is okay we'll see how this goes and if there is a, uh, a third game we can we can adapt after seeing a few more cards hopefully in in the second game but leyline's the big card that i'm looking for and i think i'm happy to mulligan once for it but uh this end is actually okay because we get to also cast a turn one noble hierarch um you know we have we have two so one assassin's trophy won't do it and we can actually play a decent hand as well so this seems like a pretty good keep Force of Vigor is obviously a card that can get them out of this pretty easily, so let's hope they don't have that. Hedron Crab's okay. We're just going to go for Trop off this Misty Rainforest and cast a Noble Hierarch. I could also leave up Brainstorm to force something, but I think getting the Hierarch out is fine. Hmm. There's definitely merit to both. I think just building out my board is, is better. It just turns on a lot more. No force, okay. See what they exile. I guess we are just pretty much. I want to act like I have Force of Will, so I don't want to 6 this turn. Ah, oh, it's a May ability. Okay, Blood Gust. That's fine. Probably just want to Ice Fang Curdle here into a land. Are oh, they milled me? Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, let's go for Ice Fang. Hopefully into a land that we can cast. I'll play Brainstorm. Alright. I guess if they mill us, they can mill Uro, which we still have in the deck, which is nice. <laughs> so we'll move... What do they hit? Uro! They hit Uro! <laughs> Classic! Okay, that's pretty nice. <laughs> well, Uro is really nice. And we can even brainstorm into something. Wow. Try to draw land first. Wow. Nice. Now we can also attack for two. And hold up Brainstorm for force, if needed. We now also have a black mana for the Heatron Crab, which is nice, so we can Abrupt Decade if necessary. The Blood Gas can't block, which is nice, so... Careful Study's okay. Leyline just such a powerhouse in this matchup. And it looks like they've just conceded, so... We do go the old 3-2. Um, so we do claw back, which is nice. Um, went down to Rug Delva. Humans we got up against. And then Hogak we got up against. Nice. Might as well open up this chest and see how it goes. Hiya! Mesa, Enchantress, and tomorrow Azami's Familiar. Interesting. Um, so the deck still seems great. I think it's just going through reps with the deck and trying to understand it a little bit better because there's obviously a lot of things you can do with it. Um, as Jacob was saying, it would be cool to try out something like Wasteland in the spot of Caracas and then Ramen up in the spot of Corsa. Um, maybe even playing with a board. We haven't really brought in Trinisphere too much, so maybe we could just drop that for another piece of counter magic or removal like Fatal Push. Because um, I, I think against combo, we're okay with the Foster Storms, Ley Lines, Veil of Summers. There's definitely a lot to bring in, which is good. Um, 
but that is me after after just one league. Uh, if you guys want to find me on YouTube, all my videos get uploaded to my YouTube here. Um, there's also some, some recorded games where I just record them with um, with commentary, which is pretty cool. Uh, I do have some more content coming out next week or this week coming on the Green Sun Zenith, which is cool, uh, which you can find on the Green Sun Zenith itself or on my Twitter at Dukes on Twitch, uh, which is really fun. Uh, I'm going to send you guys over to Anzi. Um, a huge thank you to everyone who subbed and followed this this, uh, this stream. Very cool to get up there, um, getting close to my goals, which is nice. So a huge thank you for that. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this. Hope it was entertaining. Uh, will be cool to come back on Wednesday night and see how we roll. Probably with this as well, but you never know. Hey, Daffy Duck, thanks for the sub. Thank you very much. That's, uh, that's really cool. A huge thank you. Very nice way to end the stream. Um, let's find Anzi's stream and raid. Nice. A huge thank you to everyone once again. Raid Ziggy? Ah, I've already raided uh, Anzi. Next time for sure. Next time would be really cool. Uh, but thank you very much. We'll see you again next time. Uh, all the best. Uh, stay safe. Enjoy your weekends. Thank you very much. And... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So this time we're definitely... Yeah, yeah, we don't, we don't need the island. Uh, I do want to make...